Laura here. I just did an interview with Mitchell MD, and I think you're really going to like it. It has some great information, so check it out. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy day. I'd like to introduce my guest on Facebook Live today, my husband, Mitchell Schmidt. Hello. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Laura Schmidt. Hi. So we are celebrating not only Friday, but we are celebrating today because we get to eat. And, <laughs> <laughs> and let me explain that just a little bit. Um, we just got done with a fasting mimicking diet, and it was a five-day um, sort of a, a cleanse, so to speak. At least that's how I felt about it. Um, has lots of benefits, but. Um, it's interesting because what it does is it restricts your calories so that your body actually thinks that you're fasting. And there's a lot of great benefits to this for your body. And that's why I brought my husband on because he is um, somewhat trained in this area and has a little more expertise at explaining it than I do. He's very talented at explaining things. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so I brought him on as a guest today to explain it a little better. But um, it was something that we decided to do kind of once a quarter just to kind of um, reset. Reset. Uh, we just got done with a very busy soccer season. We were doing a lot of traveling in the car. And um, I don't know about you, but when I'm in the car, I crave combos and licorice and um, coffee and things that are probably more inflammatory and not very good for me, eating out more. Um, and I started to feel that I wasn't um, very healthy. So it was a perfect time before the holidays, too, to just kind of reset things. And I see we have Naomi on. Hi, Naomi. <laughs> I love celebrations, too. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to turn it over to my husband, Mitchell, who's just going to explain a little bit about the science behind this um, and why it sounds scary, but it actually is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people get freaked out when you say fasting. They think that it's starvation or some people do water fasts, which I've done before, and they're horrible, they're painful. And so at least in this diet, you get some calories, you get some food, and it's all plant-based. It's low sodium, low glycemic index. And the first day is about 1,500 calories. The subsequent days are between seven and 800 calories, depending on uh, you know your body weight and whatnot. But it's fairly consistent, uh, the results of it. And... Um, a lot of reasons to do this. I mean, obviously, you mentioned the inflammatory part of it. But the benefit of the fasting mimic diet, it's backed by science. Dr. Walter Longo, Longevity Research in California. This is a well-studied, well-vetted program with decades of research. And what they found is that by restricting calories, you can sort of reset the clock. Uh, we all have inside our body something called stem cells. Uh, stem cells can turn into anything. They can turn into skin, help you look younger, can turn into muscle, bone, brain tissue. And by utilizing this diet, you can actually kind of stimulate your body, sort of tricking it into releasing these things that are already inside of us that are just lying sort of dormant. And so by doing this diet, you can, can increase stem cell production. Uh, regulating blood sugar is a huge thing. Uh, you know, there's, both of our families have diabetes, and this uh, diet has been shown to help uh, in the prevention of some of those type of things. Also, boost the immune system in terms of uh, autoimmune diseases are rampant in this country and so by sort of resetting the immune system there's some benefit there and then the weight loss i mean the, the weight loss is well documented for people who follow this diet the average is a little less for women than men uh, but the average is between three and seven pounds and that's all achieved within five days so pretty robust study and data on that regard um, also helps with uh with mental function as i mentioned you know stem cells uh, detoxing clarity things like that the degenerative neurologic diseases like Alzheimer's and, and a variety of other ones this has been well studied in that regard as well we did a lot of data on that and it's very impressive and robust what can be achieved in just as little as five days so I um, mean we choose to do it every quarter just to sort of re reset ourselves and, and um, erase some of the bad behavior in the <laughs> preceding three months uh, we're only human right <laughs> yes indeed so um one of the reasons I enjoy it too is because doesn't it help with somewhat with hormones? I know like right now is that time of my life where I'm going through some major hormone changes and so I get huge hormone fluctuations. Does it help with that? It does. I mean, a, a critical piece of the hormone balance is, is, is diet and inflammation, sleep and a variety of other things. But one of the things that people often overlook or maybe don't know about is, is the fat. Just look down at your belly. The fat around the midsection and the hips and the waist, that's actually an an active endocrine organ 
it's like your pancreas and your thyroid, and that can really affect the balance of hormones. So for example, you see a lot of men with, with bellies, and maybe they have, you know, the word, you know, breasts or man boobs or whatever you want to call them. It's largely due to a disruption of... I brought them on for a reason. <laughs> the disruption <laughs> of the endocrine system. The fat actually can disrupt the way testosterone is metabolized in the man. And so the fat cells have an enzyme in there. I won't bore you with the science of it. But it, instead of testosterone proceeding normally as it should in the man, it actually shifts that into estrogen, which increased estrogen. What does that do in a man? Wider hips, bigger belly, man boobs, and... Uh, Hair loss is another side effect of that as well. So um, I'm just curious, what were your results from this past five days? Well, um, I did end up losing four pounds, which I wasn't intending to lose weight, but I think that's just um, something that happens. So uh, one thing that I I do feel, I, I feel lighter, I feel um, sharper, um, able to concentrate better. Um, through the five days, I will say, though, that I was – um, probably fatigued, more fatigued, didn't have quite as much energy, um, and uh, probably needed a little more sleep. Is that normal? Yeah, I mean, it is a it is a stress when your body you're operating at a caloric deficiency. I mean, most people probably consume probably eighteen hundred to maybe two three thousand calories, depending on their their workout or workload, and so you are operating on you know less robust system, so to speak. The other thing is you're shifting your metabolism from glucose, which in the Western diet, we're pumping sugar into our bodies all the time, whether you realize it or not. The toast you had this morning is packed full of glucose. And so this diet is very low in that regard. And it's shifting your metabolism into to fat or ketones. I mean, we're all, uh, the buzz is the ketogenic diet, which there's some problems with that that I'm not going to go into now. But this diet sort of puts you, at least myself, from doing some measurements into a low ketosis state in metabolizing fat. It takes a while for your body to get fat adapted. But once you do so, the mental clarity comes back. I mean, I still carried the normal workload, still went to the gym and, and worked out less hard, but still did the normal things that I would do. But yes, tired. And I think a key component of this is remembering to drink water. I don't know if you heard that lapping sound. That's our great thing, <laughs> cueing us in to drink more water. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're right. So. Um, my results, I lost uh, seven pounds, and um, it wasn't purely for weight loss I did this. I mentioned the resetting part of it is a huge thing. If, if, there's a, if I can take five days out of a quarter and, and increase the potential for longevity, re reduce the risk of diabetes and, and dementia and Alzheimer's, and uh, maintain, a, a, one of the things I forgot to mention is the um, difference between this diet and a lot of other diets is even though you're restricting calories and it's a low-protein diet, it's been documented that lean muscle mass is preserved. So a lot of diets, you know, you cut the calories, you, you hit the gym extra hard, you do all these things, but you wipe out some of the hard-earned gains that you got in the gym, the muscle that you built. And muscle mass is a critical thing. I mean, we're pushing our 50s, and the more muscle mass you have as you age, the less likely you are to have a hip fracture, the less likely you are to become demented. Huge reasons why strength training and maintaining muscle mass as you age is just a critical part of longevity strategies. Mm -hmm. I know our, we have a scale that measures the muscle mass, and my muscle mass didn't decrease at all through this. Yeah, the impedance scale is a nice little extra tool that, uh, that uh, fortunately is available to the general public as yeah. well. So, yeah. um, wow. And so one of the other things I talked about just briefly was I know you're focused on hair health and, and hair restoration using you know non-drug methods. Mm -hmm. By restoring hormonal balance, particularly the way estrogen and testosterone are metabolized, it reduces something called DHT. DHT is a huge cause of hair loss, especially in men where they get the male pattern baldness that we're all familiar with. And part of that is because of hormonal disruption, family history, diet, hereditary, those things all play together. But if you can if you can manipulate one segment of that, turning off the, the DHT or at least dampening it down, it can help with, with hair loss and, and uh, at least hair preservation. Particularly yeah. in men and yeah. women as well. Testosterone, testosterone. I don't want to leave the women out of this equation because I know there's a fair number of you watching. Testosterone plays a huge role in women's health as well, not only for libido but also for bone health and also memory health and heart health. There's a whole variety of things. It's it's more of a, a symphony where things are are you know playing together just like a just like an orchestra. You need all pieces functioning optimally to get the desired result. So to, to leave one part out of the equation is going to disrupt the whole system. Right. And I think that's so important. So many people talk to me about hair loss and there are so many different reasons for it um, that 
um, it's really hard to just say this is the reason that you're having this issue and so it's sort of nice to be able to kind of have lots of different uh, resources available and um, it's it's fun to have something like this that resets and regenerates and revives. Um, I know today I feel great. I feel absolutely fantastic. Um, I feel uh, lighter. My mental clarity is good. I'm, I'm pretty awake. Of course, we did have <laughs> a little more coffee than we have for the last five days, so that might have something to do with it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm really pleased with how I feel. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I hit the gym this morning and uh, feel great. You, you brought up a valid point. The the pieces of the puzzle. A lot of times people want to know what can I do differently or what's the cause of this? And it's not, it's, it's more often more than just one thing. And, um, you know, the pieces of the puzzle all work together in an integrative fashion. So by, you know, trying to pick one thing and solving one thing, you're probably not going to get the results that you want by incorporating a balanced approach. Uh, you know, I work primarily in the men's health space and men often are looking for, you know, multiple ways to solve their problems. You know, I get the question all the time, how can I fix my hair without taking a drug? And one is, you know, fasting mimic diet can play a part in that. And two is something that you're probably more experienced with. Yeah. So just um, naturally based hair products that can help with um, hair growth in certain people. So that's something that is definitely um, encouraging, especially because we know that some of those prescription medications have some pretty significant side effects. And so, um, you know, I know men might want to stay away from that and be able to try something that's naturally based and, and healthy uh, for them. Yeah, I mean, if you can, if you're going to use something that you would do naturally or normally anyways in the shower, you know, so where can people find out more about that? So if anyone would like to find out more about that, um, I, you can go to no boss but you, and um, there's lots of information for both men and women there. Are there photos or there results? There are photos and results, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. And if you're curious about the uh, Fasting Mimic diet, you can visit uh, MitchellMB.com. There's a little on the right side, there's a little Fasting Mimic icon you can click on, and that'll tell you a little bit more about it, and you can get access to it, the diet itself, the kit, for a substantial discount. Yes, and if anybody um, is interested, I do have a book um, by uh, Walter Longo, and if anybody's interested in it, I'd be happy to send it to you, um, and you can read it, because it is pretty fascinating, the results. Um, I know that I'm not typically a scientific type book person, and this was written very, um, gave you the facts without being like a scientific medical article or, or book, um, and was really a fast, quick read for me and helped me to understand why we were doing this um, when he first told me that we should do this. I was like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Excellent book. I got halfway through it and was just, just getting to the crux of it and somebody stole it out of my bag as it passed through security in Atlanta, Hartsville, Jackson, of all places, a book on dieting st stolen from security, but whatever. Yeah, so if, if you'd like um, to read the book, I, I'd be happy to send it to you. You can comment below or send me a private message and I, I'd be happy to get it to you and we can pass it around and hopefully promote good health. Thanks so much for watching. All right, everyone have a great Friday. Celebrate something. Cheers.